Good day everyone, I'm George Ambrose and Sankalyan, together with Mr. Mark Christian Ramos and Ms. Raquel Guderazo. Our topic is about table tennis, and I'm discussing to you objectives, introduction, and history. First objectives, understand history, basic table tennis rules and regulations, equipment, and scoring procedures. Second objective, demonstrate basic skills associated in table tennis, especially in forehand, backhand, grip, spins, and serves. For our introduction, so table tennis, also known as ping pong and whiff walk, it is a sport in which two or four players hit a lightweight ball, also known as ping pong ball, back and forth across the table using small solid rackets. The game takes place on a hard table divided by a net, except for the initial serve. The rules are generally as follows. Players must allow a ball played toward them to bounce once on their side of the table and must return it so that it bounces on the opposite side at least once. A point is scored when a player fails to return the ball within the rules. Let's go to the history, the origin of table tennis. It was in England in the late 19th century. The table tennis made its appearance taking inspiration from Don Tennis. So the first player belonged to middle class Victorian society. So the first game would have been played using a champagne cork as ball, cigar boxes as butts, and books for the net. The sound generated in play gave the game its first name, which is Whiff Waff. I These are the example of cigar box, books, and champagne cork, which used by the Victorian society. Now, in 1890, Englishman David Foster, attracted by its wide appeal, introduced the first game of table tennis on a table. So, the table tennis is discovered by Englishman David Foster. Well, in 1891, John Jacks of London introduced their Gossima game, which used drum-type puddles at 50 mm web rock cork ball and 30 cm high net. So John Jacks introduced Gossima game, which used a drum-type puddles, a rock cork ball, and a 30 cm high net. 1890s in Victorian society, they used cigar boxes, books, and champagne cork. Then in 1891, John Jocks dis discovered the uh, Gossima, then produced the drum type puddles, rock cork, and the high net. Parker in Parker Brothers began making an indoor tennis kit which included a portable net, a small ball covered in netting, and paddles. Then, in 1897, it is the first national championship were organized in Hungary. Now, I will show you the pictures here, the Gossima game, and here in the Parker Brothers. The next major innovation was given by James Gibb, a British enthusiast of table tennis, who discovered novelty celluloid balls on a trip to the U.S. in 90s and found them to the ideal for the game. I will show you the pictures here. This was followed by Easy Good, who in the 90s invented the modern version of the rocket by fixing a sheet of pippled or stripled rubber to the wooden blade. The table tennis was growing in popularity by 90s to the extent that the table tennis tournaments were being organized books on the table tennis were being written, and an official world championship was held in 1902. Here is the rocket that uh, given by the Easy Good. So in 19, 1901, John Jocks res registered ping pong as a trade name in England. The American rights to the name are sold to Parker Brothers. So John Jocks sold the name of ping pong to the Parker Brothers. In the early 1920s, the game began to revive in England and Europe. 
The name Table Tennis was adopted in 1921 to 22, when the Old Ping Pong Association formed in 1902 was revived. The World Championships between the different countries were held in London in 1926, and the French Table Tennis Federation, or the FTTF, saw the light of the day in 1927. The French would participate for the first time in Budapest in 1929. So the history of table tennis is colored by a great many champions, including the austro beaton Richard Bergman, Franco Polish player Aloisi Erilich, and the Romanian Angelica Roseno. And in 1950s, rockets that used a rubber sheet combined with a flying sponge layer changed the game dramatically, introducing greater spin and speed. So they, these were introduced to Britain by sports good manufacturer S.W. Hancock Ltd. The use of speed glue increased the spin and speed even further, resulting in changes to the equipment to slow the game down, and table tennis was introduced as Olympic sport at Olympics in 1988. So when the rockets or the paddles begin to change, it changed also the speed, the speed of the game. Today, table tennis is the most practiced sports in Asia. In Europe, table tennis comprises champions like Belgian player Jean Michael Save, the German Timo Boll, and the Dane Michael Mays. In 2016, Chinese players Ma Long, Fan Chen Zhu, Shushin and Shang Jik and German player Dimitri Orkbakta were leading the world ranking and in 2005, the number of players in the world was estimated to be over 2,600 million. The International Table Tennis Federation embraces more than 200 nations and 33 million members. Competition, club tournaments or championships are organized the world over. In June 2016, France boosted 207,213 members. The history of table tennis is today expressed through a constantly evolving infatuation colored by the many benefits of regular practice. So you will so you discover the history of table tennis, which starts in Victorian society, which discovered by English David Foster, and they used cigar boxes, uh, books, and champagne cork. Then evolved it to like the rockets of lawn tennis. Then evolved again in the smaller part and. The paddles begin to have a rubber and sponge underlying. In generation of the table tennis, the table tennis discovered more and now it is very popular over the world. There are some uh, additional thoughts about table tennis. So always remember that the founding father of table tennis is Iver Mantago and the inventor and the founder is English David Foster. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand the objectives, introduction, and history of table tennis. So hi everyone, I am Rahal Jamalirazo. I'm also um, a, one of the group of Mark Liz Chan and also Georgia Santillian. So my part is to discuss to you the table tennis equipment and the rules, of re rules and regulation. The first equipment that we have is the ball. So the ball is just like a ping pong ball that we all know that it's just not so heavy and it's just a soft ball. So the heavy or the weight of the ball is 40, 40 millimeters and 2.7 grams. So the next, next equipment that we have is the paddles. So we have two types of paddles. The first one is the shake hand paddles. The shake hand paddles is longer the handle, shorter the blade. While the pen hold paddles is the shorter the handle, longer the blade. So let's um let's always remind it that the shake hand paddle is the longer handle, shorter the blade, while the pen hold paddle is the shorter handle, longer the blade. Go. 
So, the penhold paddle is for the beginners or speed type of players to defense, while the shake hand paddles is suitable for professional people to defense and offense. The third equipment that we have is the table. So, table is the largest and most expensive equipment. It is the small version of table tennis of a tennis court with lines marking area of play. And it is the 9 feet long and 5 feet wide. It just look like a, a tennis court in the yard and it's just a small version of it while the fourth is the net the net, the net it serves an important role of in of equipment in table tennis so why because it's designing the marcation and boundary between the two opposite courts so the next one is the robot the robot is the machine that can fire balls it is suitable for those beginners that who wants to be professional as a table tennis player uh, most importantly that we need to have in playing a table tennis are the table tennis shirt, table tennis short, and of course the table tennis shoes. Why? For us to be comfortable and for, while playing a table tennis. So, let's proceed to the official rules of a table tennis. So, let's discuss the official rules of table tennis. We have 12 official rules and regulation in table tennis. The first one is the games are played 11 points. So, that all we need to have is to get an 11 points in playing a table tennis. The second one is the alternate serve every 2 points. Uh, for example, I'm a player and there's another player. If I serve and have a two points then i'm done serving it so the serve the next serving is for my teammate so the third is the pass the ball straight up when serving um let's have um as inches in serving so here's the ball and when we are going to just going to throw it higher it's just an six inches so the fourth one is the serve can land everywhere in singles but the double the double serve must go right um right court to right court then the six um the, the six um rules rules is a serve that touches the net on the on the way over it is what we call a let so what is let so let it means that serve needs to replay the seven, the seven is the alternate hitting a double rally, right to right. So for example, I'm the first player. Um, nag serve ako sa right. Then dapat ang bagsi serve ko ng na bola is from the right opponent. While kapag naman nag serve yung nag serve yung kakampi ko, kailangan yung pumunta sa right side ko para magpupunta rin ng bola sa right side ng opponent. So, the next is, okay, for number 8 rule is the volleys are not allowed. It means hitting the ball before it bounces the table is not allowed. If you hit it, it's the opponent points. For example, if I hit, if I serve the ball, and then hindi pa siya na, hindi pa siya nalapad sa table na opponent, sa part na opponent, and then tinira mo na agad, so it's not your point, it's the opponent's point. Kasi hindi mo agad yung bola na hindi pa napunta sa table ng opponent mo. While for the number 9, if you hit bounce, if your hit bounces back over net by itself, it is your point. So for example, ako, nag-hit ako ng bola, and then pumunta sa kabilang table, bumalik sa table ko, then it is my point, okay? The number 10 is touching the ball with your paddle hand is allowed, but touching the table with your free hand is not allowed. For example, I have my paddle here in the right side, and then I can touch the ball through my paddle hand, but this hand is not allowed to touch the table or touch the paddle. Okay, number 11. You may not touch a table with your non-paddle hand. You can move your legs or elbow as long as the table will not move. So, pwede nyo siyang kontrahin. Yung table pwede siyang kontrahin through your legs, through your hips, through your um, elbow. But, dapat, hindi dapat nagalaw ang ating table kapag ka pinapwersa natin yung ating table. So, dapat naka steady lang siya and dapat steady rin tayo. So, okay, number 12 is honor system applies to this agreement. It is agreements for both players. So, ang honor system is kapag ka nagkagulo na yung mga rules at hindi nagkakasundo so, doon na dapat mag-uusap ang both opponents or both players para mapag-usapan ano ba ang dapat gawin doon sa nangyaring um, larong iyon. So, that's all for my part. I discussed to you 
my um, the equipments that we need in table tennis and of course what are the rules and regulations in table tennis good day class hi i am mark christian adriano ramos but today you can call me sir maki and we're about to discuss the basic hits in table tennis i am currently studying at batanga state university jplp simalvar campus and this presentation or this discussion is for our final examination for Sir TJ Panganiban. And without further ado, let's get started. But before we proceed to our main discussion, let me introduce the basic grips in table tennis, starting with forehand with this with the description of it is done by placing the thumb and the pointing the finger on opposite side of the blade at the top of the handle the rest of the fingers are wrapped around the handle so this would be the right forehand grip as you can see this is it so if it is if i'm going to handle it so that's it for hand grip so now let us proceed to the back hand grip which is defined as it is done by placing the thumb and pointing the finger on the blade the middle finger rests on the opposite side together with the rest of the finger so this is how you do it so as you remember the forehand grip this would be the 400 but if it is on the opposite side this would be the back hand grip so it's just the opposite of the forehand grip yes as you can see guys okay so now let us proceed to our main topic our main discussion which is the basic hits in table tennis so this basic hits has five fundamentals or five categories such as the serve receive push drive and block let us first discuss the serve serve it is a stroke that starts a rally which can be done either in the forehand or backhand side so this is how you do it next is the receive which is it is a stroke to respond to a serve and this is how you do it the third one is the push which it is a short stroke within the rocket is moved in a slight horizontal plane striking the ball at the bottom portion of the rocket so this is how you do it fourth is the drive which it is a stroke wherein the rocket is moved forward and upward at the angle striking the ball to impart fast forward spinning motion and this is how you do it the loss but definitely not the list is the block it is a stroke where in the rocket is positioned slightly vertical striking the ball at the bottom portion of the rocket making the ball travel straight and this is how you do it So before we end our discussion, I would like to acknowledge the presence of my sister who is 
currently helping me with my discussion proper and with the PPT presentation that is from slidego.com. Thank you so much from the PDF file module of the Ed Tambayan and as well as to our professor Dr. TJ or Sir TJ Panganiban and thank you so much sir for giving us the opportunity to teach again most especially i would like to thank my group mates miss raquel madarasa and the georgia santelian so thank you guys for listening i hope you learned something from my discussion and as well as to my group mates discussion i hope you use this for the greater good and enhance your skills in table tennis i know that we are not perfect when it comes to discussion and performing the skills but i know that that this might help in some ways again i am mark christian adriano ramos your sir maki for today's discussion and we are now signing off thank you so much and god bless us all